Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Hello, that was a different hello. <laughs> Do you know, I'm kind of losing the ability to say hello normally now because, um, you know, when friends and family come in and they say, oh, hello, and I go, hello. And anyway, ridiculous, really. Um... Today isn't the video that I thought I was going to be making, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was sent some clothes by a company that I have worked with before. I'm not going to name names because I'm not sure what's going to happen next. And um, I kind of thought in my head how I was going to show the clothes and things. And when I put them on, they didn't fit me. Well, I were either too small or too big, but either way, they didn't do me any favours and in all honesty I couldn't show them to you um, because as I've told you before I will not um, compromise my authenticity because that's our relationship and I value that relationship very much so I've had to write to them and say what do you want to do I think we probably won't progress that relationship but um, so I bought a couple of bits from Marks and Spencer and um, it, it, they're not major, um, just a couple of um, items of knitwear because I had a 20% off thing come through on Sparks, which just does show you that um, it does kind of encourage you to, to spend. So I've got a few little, um, I think there's a cardigan and a couple of, sweaters jumpers and uh, i'll show you those um i think do you remember i showed you this t-shirt that i got from george which is very nice you know it's got a nice neck such good value what was this nine pounds and but it had a long sleeve and um my friend sue has got a cover stitch machine and she shortened a t-shirt for me for grace and um, that got, you know, if I kind of discover something new, then I always have to research it. And, and when I was researching it online, they said, oh, you know, you can get the same effect with a twin needle into a regular sewing machine. So I thought, well, I'll give that a go. It was only about a fiver, I think. So I ordered this twin, well, it was two, two twin needles from Amazon and they came and I was all excited and I watched loads of videos and stuff. And it, I, I got it to work on the, the sample fabric, but I could not get it to work on the, um, on the um, actual T-shirt because I, I kind of basically made this a three-quarter sleeve. And um, I spent about two and a half hours trying to get this thing to work and I couldn't. But you can see, um, I think you can see there, the, the cover stitch and then it's got, the background like this so or the other the background the other side um with a zigzag so yeah I was disappointed really because that would have just been great if I could um do that myself but these cover stitch machines are quite expensive and I, I just couldn't justify it really you know just to shorten a few t-shirts and sleeves and things though it would be a nice luxury to have you never know I might see one come up um reduced or something so I may well use this as part of my trying on session so um I'm going to get onto that in a second the other thing I wanted to kind of mention and this is very local to me but um we went he here on when I say we went myself Katie and Grace went to this place on Monday we went for a walk down at the beach and then we went here Palais de Vache Coastal Gallery and um, oh my goodness, we were so surprised at how really beautiful it is. There's a really lovely art gallery and um, they've got loads of artworks and sculptures and, and things like that. And um, it was a shame we couldn't stop really because they had a pop-up catering company there. There was a band setting up and it just looked delightful. So I can't wait to go back when we can actually eat there 
and all oh, the views out over the sea and the Bewley River. And um, yeah, so I'll put the details in the um, description box and um, give them a follow on Facebook if you're ever down in this neck of the woods because they're not open every day. Um, so you need to keep an eye on their site. But, you know, they really, really did have some beautiful things there. I, I was very taken with one picture, um, oil painting, and I will put that up here now. Um, in the video so you can see, but, uh, you know, high prices indeed, but a lovely, lovely environment. And um, I just wanted to give them a shout out, really, because I've lived here... Well, it's 11 years this year. I'm not sure how long this place has been there, but I've never seen it before. I've never been up there because I had no idea what it was. So um, I'll stop rabbiting on now. And um, I'm just going to try on these different little sweaters that I've got and see what they look like with um, some skirts that I've already got in my wardrobe because I've kind of got a look in mind and I'm not sure that it'll work. So you can just join me on that journey before I decide whether to keep these things or take them back and they're much more about using what's already in your wardrobe and I know a few people have suggested that as an idea so um, I'll crack on with that now and we can see how it goes it might be a disaster because I don't actually know what I'm going to pop, put with what yet but there's only one way to find out mm. I'm loving this little cardigan I actually bought this for Grace um, our middle daughter for her birthday, uh, which is tomorrow, although I had to, I gave it to her at the weekend because uh, I bought it in two sizes for her and didn't know which one she would need. So, um, you know, of course, while I was buying her one, I bought myself one. But it's so lovely. It's um, like a heavy knit. And I think it was, oh, how much was it? You know, I, my brain is like a sieve because I just looked at this beforehand. So it's £35, but I had 20% off, so that brought it back down to uh, 20 something or £7 off. So £28, so that's very good, isn't it? It's really smart, I think. So handy. But I've got an added little accessory on it. How annoying is that? like really, really annoying. I, I've told this story before, but it happened to us once we were going to a wedding and we bought Rob a new suit online. And um, we were living in the cabin at the time before when we were doing all the work on the house. And it was only when he got dressed on the morning of the wedding that we realized he still had a flipping security tag hanging off the jacket. So he wore it into the church like this with his arm pressed against it. And then before the reception started, he went out in the in the um, garden of the venue and found some tools and, and smashed it off. But really, that's so bad, isn't it? I suppose that means they've got it off the shop floor, doesn't it? Anyway, whatever, let's forget about that for now. So I've got it on with the um, George uh, T-shirt and I was wearing the pearls already, so I've kept them on. And those of you who have been with me for a while will know this skirt very well. It's the... Um, kind of ivory, it's got a slight metallic feel to it, um, but I think this looks really rather nice, I think anyway, well, you, I'll, I'll decide again when I see it on the camera, but um, you know, I think it looks quite swish, doesn't it? Sleeves are a little bit long, I must have short arms, you know. I never knew the things that I didn't have a complex about until I started doing this job. Little pockets, there actually are real pockets in here. And um, it's made from a 51 cotton, four polyester and two viscose. So that's a lovely mix as well because with the polyester and with the cotton, it will wash really beautifully. And I think I'm gonna be keeping this cardigan because I think it totally kind of elevates an outfit and would look lovely over a summer dress too. Because it's like a, it's a little bit chanel -y, isn't it? Chanel-y being a verb now, apparently. But um, yeah, 
They do it in this colour, they do it in camel, and they do it in black and navy. So that's the first little combination. Um, but I, I love this. I really do. So, yeah, that's the result, isn't it? Lucky I was looking for a present for Grace, because I got one too. So this second um, jumper is merino wool, and this was £35, so this came in at £28 with the 20% off as well. And, you know, it's really chilly out still. It's um, We're in April now, but it's still really chilly. And these are a lovely, lovely fine knit. I bought the black v-neck, um, and I have got a vest top under this because I had it on already, so just a white vest top. But um, I think this looks really, really classy. And it's very, very useful for the kind of weather we get in the UK. Quite often, you just need an extra little um, bit of warmth. And it's so lightweight, you can use it almost as a, as a scarf, you know. Um, so, yeah, I am... Oh, crikey. But I think this is a real staple. I, You know, I, I don't kind of... I'll take this necklace off so you can see the line of the neck. It's lovely because it's not too high. And, you know, you could wear a long necklace with this. You could just wear a little... Like, my little flat silver chain would look lovely with this. I mean, I think this pearl necklace looks lovely with it too. As usual, the jewellery is from my friend Muneer who's not too well at the moment, so I'm hoping he feels better soon. So lots of love to you, Munir. If you're, you're at home bored, you might well be watching this, uh, but I shouldn't think so. Anyway, um, yeah, and it hasn't got a security tag on, which helps, doesn't it? Honestly, I think that's really shocking. But there you are, they come up with the goods. So um, I might keep this on and try it on with another skirt I've got, because really what I'm doing is just what I would normally do in my bedroom. I'm doing with you as my um, second opinion. So I'll do that now. So the jumper I just had on didn't go with this skirt. Um, so I have have popped, oh, there's Dolly. Uh, so I have popped on, this is another skirt that you will recognise that I bought um, from, it's a finery skirt, but I think I got it in two and I think it was just £14. Um, I've got the white vest top on, I've kept on the ivory cardigan and it's just a black and white spot skirt. And um, I put it on with my duo black suede boots because I kind of quite like that look when we're kind of still going into the, um, you know, it's still cold and we could still have weeks of, of chilly weather. And I think, you know, if you go into Europe, if you go into France and Spain, they don't wear kind of summer clothes until it's really hot. And you can spot a Brit a mile off when you're in Spain because as soon as there's a bit of sun, they're, you know, down to shorts. And um, the Parisian or the, you know, the people that live in Spain just carry on wearing, you know, other stuff. Sorry, I've got to get the phone. I, I can't remember what I was saying now. Um, oh, yeah, I was just saying that, you know, Brit Hello? Dolly? What? Um... Yeah, Brits go into summer clothing a bit too soon, I think. Uh, anyway, that was mum on the phone. She was ringing because um, she's just had a quote for her car insurance, which is absolutely astronomical. I, I mean, over £800. And she only does a few thousand miles a year. So, honestly, it, it's just crazy. Anyhow, she won't thank me for saying that, but uh, there we are, that's life. So uh, I think that this is a definite keeper, although I might take it back in and swap it for the camel. Although I think this colour does go quite nicely and it's quite versatile, isn't it? But um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's another look with the boots. And um, 
I think, you know, you could wear this anywhere, couldn't you? You could wear it just to go shopping, but equally you could wear it to dinner. And of course you could always put a black um, t-shirt underneath as well to tie it in. So um, I think I've got one other look to show you. Now this is another one of their merino um, jumpers and this is a v-neck. It's, it's still a very fine knit, but they do have a warmth to them. Um, and all of these are in an 18, which is just fine. Just change the necklace to kind of continue the V down. And I've got it on with this skirt. I'm not sure if I showed you this skirt. I picked it up. I don't even remember where. I picked it up somewhere. Reduced. Maybe. I, I don't know. It's all a blur. Um, and I changed out um, the t-shirt for a black t-shirt because this skirt is actually um, kind of turquoise and black. Um, but I thought it was very pretty. It has got a shine to it, but it is the bias cut skirt, which can be quite flattering, I think. Um, and it's a good length. And I think it was very, very cheap in the in the kind of 14, 15 pound bracket. So yeah, I, I'm i gonna try something. If there, if there is another one of those cardigans in a smaller size, so I don't know if it'll go on me, but I'm just gonna pop that on because I want to kind of show you the different looks with it really. Um, so yeah, I'll just do that quickly. Now, this is another one of their Merino um, jumpers. And this is a v-neck it's it's still a very fine knit but they do have a warmth to them um and all of these are in an 18 which is just fine just change the necklace to kind of continue the v down and i've got it on with this skirt i'm not sure if i showed you this skirt i picked it up i don't even remember where i picked it up somewhere reduced maybe i i don't know it's all a blur um, and I changed out um, the t-shirt for a black t-shirt because this skirt is actually um, kind of turquoise and black um, but I thought it was very pretty. It has got a shine to it but it is the bias cut skirt which can be quite flattering I think um, and it's a good length. And I think it was very, very cheap in the in the kind of 14, 15 pound bracket. So, yeah, I, I'm going to try something. If there, if there is another one of those cardigans in a smaller size, so I don't know if it'll go on me. But I'm just going to pop that on because I want to kind of show you the different looks with it, really. Um, so, yeah, I'll just do that quickly. So this is the black in the medium and it's a much snugger fit but it does fit um and i kind of quite like it being very neat um because it just sits exactly kind of you know on me i don't know what that means but and i have got a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it but um it's very smart isn't it very very smart They've got some lovely things in there at the moment. I, I think I might be doing another haul soon. But I, I think this is quite um, good. I'm quite surprised because it is a medium. But it uh, it just fits quite nicely, doesn't it? I know my tummy's a bit on display there, but I just haven't got a slip on under this skirt. So that would just take that away from my tummy. Um, but yeah, I'm quite taken with that. It's actually, I mean, I bought Grace um, a medium and a small and she needed the small because obviously she wanted this um, closer knit, a uh, fit, fit knit, a knit fit. So um, yeah, food for thought actually, isn't it? I mean, I would never, ever have tried on a medium if it hadn't been that it was sitting in the bedroom waiting to be tried on. So, yeah, that's really it today. It's just a few little bits and bobs. Um, 
I am going over to Mum's very soon. I think I mentioned, did I mention about the, um, yeah, I think I did mention about the machine for her knee. Oh, it was funny. She said, I suppose I'll have to wear a skirt, won't I? And I said, why? So she said, I could put the thing on my knee. And I said, well, you can just put a towel over your legs, Mum. It's only me. And she said, but you're filming me. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, Lord. Can you imagine? Poor Mum. Um, so I'll, I'll get that over to her within the next few days, I hope. The ferry prices, I know, I'm not going to go on about White Link, but honestly, the ferry prices are up in the, like, one way, because uh, I was going over with my sister and uh, I was going to get foot passenger back and it was £129 one way. It's a lot of money, isn't it? I could fly to Spain for that. Anyway, I'm not going to, yeah, I won't talk about that anymore. Um, anything else? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah. Thanks as ever for watching. If you've got other suggestions, please, you know, let me know. Um, I've, this, <coughs> excuse me, this will be going out tomorrow, which is Friday. And the cookery video I just did will be going out yesterday. So um, I hope that's, goes down well it's very difficult it's not easy to film cookery you know because I've only got my one camera and you know to try and get me and the um cooking in as well is is quite a challenge but I do my best I always just do my best I'm not a professional as you well know um so yeah if you haven't subscribed as ever I would be grateful if you did but um, that's it for now and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.